Salut, mine comrades, and welcome back to Euphoria HE. Okay, I'm gonna really have to get used to hearing the sound of my own voice. I can't get over how terrible my voice is. <laughs> but that's a problem I hear everyone has. They don't like hearing their um, voice recorded, and it's really not as bad as it is. And I'm not gonna point out like every little flaw with my voice. Don't worry, I actually have a timer this time, and like I said, want to keep them within the 15 to 20 minute range. That sounds good. Don't want to have like these hour long videos because, in my experience, even though I can just pause the video and like leave a little marker and everything, effort and whatever, I don't like watching like these 40 minute to hour long videos and such. So. I want to keep them uh, relatively short, relatively small. So we're going to hop right into level 3. Uh, soon the tutorial will be over. I expect by the third episode, maybe the fourth. That sounds terrible, Grays. What happened to our colony? I don't know. There should be more seedlings here. This place was previously teeming with life. Find out what happened. Here in the lady. Um, do we have the maximum amount of trees? Yeah, I guess we're limited to two. Amazing! Asteroids in this belt are quite fertile and can support two trees. Wow, well, I'm used to four. strange signals from the asteroid to blow up. Mother Tree would like you to send a scout. I think that was a tutorial. <laughs> I just rushed all my dudes in. Fuck. <laughs> it is possible to scout. This is another place where, like, the splitting of your units comes, um, in handy. We couldn't see the enemies that were in that asteroid because we had not yet explored it. Um, I think it's called Fog of War, and once it goes away, it's gone forever. You gain like this sort of omnipotent vision of an asteroid once you've sent someone to it. But in an unknown asteroid where you don't know how many trees there are going to be, you don't know if there's a swarm of enemies circling that asteroid, you don't want to send like half your army and have them get decimated when you can send one scout, see what it is, and actually plan how much you want to build up. So. That's what they're teaching us about now. Send a scout by clicking on one or by clicking on the target with the right mouse button. Scouting is a great way. Right, I'm used to the right mouse button technique. Oh my god, they're attacking. Wait, are they attacking? They are attacking. Shit. <laughs> we need reinforcements. When seedlings are sent to an enemy asteroid, they attack its trees, which render it when damaged. So yeah. That's how you take over asteroids, you destroy their trees, and then your little seedlings will swarm into their roots and start attacking the planet core and decimating its, depleting its energy. If given time, they recover arrive, should the core be taking, the asteroid will be added to the colony. And they glow red as they're under attack. Seedlings will defend their asteroid from enemy invasions. I should very well hope so, I wouldn't want them to just sit there. Am I gonna lose the tutorial? That would be so fucking pathetic. These creatures, they are mad with violence and anger. Why do they fight us? Okay, we're retaking the battle. Take their asteroid. Exclamation point, probably should have, like, put a little more umph into that order. Persistent little bastards. Let's fasten things up a bit. Okay, we're good. How many you got? Like 16? So now we have a target. More than 16. 
They all just left. They're attacking again. <sighs> so yeah, there's not much to like um, talk about on this first level because um, in the later levels you get into like a lot more of asteroids with multiple connections like this one and you have to defend different fronts and everything but that's like stage three nonsense and it is so like the game gets progressively harder stage two if i remember correctly isn't too bad this is like the tutorial we're going through now they retreated i don't think i want to go after them i think i still want to build up a bit leave it off fast forward and like I said just build up there's five to R20 we'll be all right and the tree falls our guys are traveling down its roots and slowly defeating the planet core when it reaches zero, we gain control of the planet. And they already had a tree here, so we automatically... Oh, wait. We've taken their asteroid, but take care of more enemies. I think that's what it said. I hope that's what it said. So I think we're good to just... God damn it, I really should be scouting. Okay, not too bad this time. So yeah, tutorial level enemies pretty much roll over. We're gonna quickly sweep through and take the rest of this area. Now this is what I was talking about earlier. Notice I can't go directly from here to here. I've stopped caring about the annotations at this point. I'm sorry. There we go. Precise seedlings. How do I do that? Well, in said mode, use the left mouse button to adjust the green radio dial overlaid on the target asteroid. It can be useful to leave some seedlings behind to protect your colony. As I was saying, this is what I was talking about earlier. I can't go directly from here to here uh, to here because this colony is not captured I need a Dizon tree here this is the effective range even if I say go here I can't order the nine seedlings over here to go to this asteroid even though it's within this one's range we have to own this asteroid in order to do that so what's this thing with the dial Alright, I'm gonna have to get used to that. I think I prefer the old way. Maybe there's a classic mode I can enable. You can see while I've been sort of just jerking around talking, we've produced quite a few seedlings at all our places, when previously, just a few moments ago, we were struggling to get, like, two to send as reinforcements. So. Production quickly skyrockets as you take over, as your um, trees grow. Ah, well that was anticlimactic. And we have another level. Got five more minutes on my timer. We found the gray sickness, but so many precious seedlings have perished. Yeah, due to my idiocy, I'm sorry. What is this terrible disease that has taken root? The growers depend on us for new colonies. We must find out. Fuck, I hit the mic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, it's like 1.30 a.m. I really shouldn't be doing this. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm gonna finish up this first little bit of tutorial, and then I'm probably gonna go to sleep. Engagement. This is what I'm talking about. Multiple
multiple planets, you have to decide what to go to. Yeah, I'm used to like, um, old version. You would drag it out and then you can release and the arrow would stay bonded to your hand. So then from there you could just right click and send scouts. Now I have to select the asteroid and everything. I'll get used to it, but eh. I just got used to the old version. Ancient artifacts are mysterious. This is new. Items hidden throughout the universe. To collect an artifact, you must colonize, zoom in, and click the artifact. Maybe it's not new. Maybe I just didn't pay attention to collectibles in the old game. Colonize. Click. 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 It's not letting me click. Fine, I'll be patient. You have discovered an ancient artifact, these mysterious items. Try to find them all to preserve them for further study. View artifacts from the main menu. So we'll take a look at that. Maybe we won't have to. This egg-shaped artifact transmits a melody made of seven musical notes at random intervals. Oh, I'm sorry, my playlist stopped. I didn't have it on repeat. Good thing the ambient noise is so nice in this game. I didn't even notice until just now. Do we have seedlings here? Not enough. Someone's fighting. Okay, so we got about 12 over there. We have 15 here, one here. Hmm. Not yet. Okay, reinforce. 16 on 13. Still a bit too close for my liking. But yeah, I'm kind of a night owl. I had a fucking overnight position, and even though I've since left from it, I haven't totally transferred back into the regular din of life. So, some nights I'm still up at like 6. It has gotten better. In the past couple weeks, I've been very good about being in bed by 2 a.m. and waking up by like 9, which is significantly better than staying up in an insomniac attic fit of just playing some random game even though your brain has stopped functioning and then sleeping half the day away it sent them all over I don't know why I did that it just did hello enemy seedlings we do not have nearly enough to be attacking this retreat things to talk about, that's generally the time I want to fast forward. <laughs> There's not a lot's happening, especially in these early stages. But yeah, these maps are tiny, they get pretty impressive as you go on, just in their scope. I'm talking like, how many do we have here, like, ten? Easily five times that amount, like 50 asteroids, it's crazy. And they have some pretty interesting scenarios, like, uh, I don't want to spoil anything, but I don't think you'll be too disappointed, but they had this, like, strength versus speed level where I've told you about the bars, and it was a starting asteroid about right here, and it's just two branches 
that go off in either direction. And one is just a whole line of speed trees, and the other is just a whole line of strength trees. So you kind of choose one and then work it to your advantage. So that was a very fun level. We'll get to more fun levels as the game progresses as soon as we're done with this tutorial. How long am I on recording time? 15 minutes, we're doing good actually. Scouting. Hello, who are you? Another seedling colony? He's as surprised as I am. I was rather certain we would be only fighting graves. Have they brought the gray sickness here? Maybe. Who can know these things? There's a lot of them. Let's knock out the grays first. So this one's effectively captured, and we have one more to go. Um, they actually attacked me. Pretentious little bastards, aren't they? The nerve of them. Thinking they can take my colony. They all took off. They nabbed it and ran. Or they're on another thing. Oh, I have no clue where they went. Did we kill them that fast, really? Okay, a lot of them do have to go through the center column, so they'll sort of stop and attack the remaining two enemies. Assuming they were still there, my guys are pretty efficient killers. I'm not sure if there's like a group select. I don't think there was in the old version. And it gets a tiny bit tedious selecting each individual asteroid and telling them to attack. But, very fun game. Overall, I do enjoy it. And I already stated multiple times it looks very lovely, especially with this update. Um, and like any other Soul game, which examples of Soul games, like you play them online on like Congregate and Newgrounds and Armor Games, those kind of websites. Uh, Phage Wars, I think, is a popular one. And this is under attack by too many enemies for it to handle. So we're going to contain this little outbreak, take over the last settlement, and that'll be game. There we go. Hmm. That went longer than I would have liked. Congratulations, you've made this pocket of space yours. things will likely get tougher, as I've been saying. Each level has its own goals, Jodhar. After the mother tree is spoken to you, it can also be found in the pause menu. You do not always have to colonize every asteroid to complete the level. The Grey Void. I'm gonna go over my 20 minute mark, just to finish off the tutorials.